Join me on my random journey into the unknown, taking a random flight to a place I've never heard of, Koshitsa or however it's pronounced, in desperate need of a suitably edgy summer holiday to a part of the world I was yet to discover. Hi guys, we're actually in Slovakia today, um, gone for a bit of a holiday, it's just me and two of my mates. We've gone out to Kosice, which is in eastern Slovakia. Never been to the country before. Looks like an interesting place. The flights were cheap, so we decided just to give it a go and chance it and hope that it's actually a good place to visit. But it looks really nice. We've got this really nice apartment with a balcony. It seems like quite a nice historic old town, but then you've also got these sort of Soviet like blocks and stuff mixed into it. So it's kind of like, you know, it's a place with a lot of history and stuff. We've got an authentic tour, which is going to take us to some of the more hidden gems and stuff. It's a bit more rough and ready tomorrow, but today we're just going to have a look around the town, go to a few bars and chill out a bit because we're all a bit knackered from the flight. So this is the apartment. Pretty cool. Two beds and a sofa bed. Nicely furnished. Lovely view out on the balcony here. The rest of our apartment wasn't too shabby at all, but the rest of the flat block looked as if it had remained pretty much unchanged since it was built. Where's the lift? Down there. Is it down here? Once we found the way to operate the rickety old lifts, we hit the streets and headed for the old town. Eventually making it to the main street, we decided to refuel ourselves after a long day's travelling. What have we got here? A little appetizer starter, which is a meat. What was it again? I don't know, just <laughs> meat and mozzarella. <laughs> yeah, we're not even sure, but it looks sick. Prosciutto. Pros yeah, Prosciutto. something like that. And those nuts. <laughs> Love that. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, looks looks nice to be honest. So see, we've got a oh, traditional yeah. meal. It's a traditional dish and we can't like remember the name of it. Something. But it's like potato dumplings, bacon. It like, yeah, it's really fried bacon. That's what it is. Stuff like that. Bacon, yeah. Gosh, I really did sound like an idiot abroad. But it wouldn't be long before we began to understand the true local culture. But at this stage, we were gullible tourists. So we wandered into the northern tower of Kashita's stunning Elizabeth Cathedral and paid two euro each for a postcard, mistaking it for an entrance fee.
We next looked around the cathedral itself, which was constructed in several phases across the medieval era when the town was known as Kassa under Hungarian rule. We even ended up in the underground crypt of Hungarian Prince Rakosi, who rose up against the Habsburgs in the 18th century. Finally, we looked around the fortified medieval city walls of the lower gate, called Don Nabrana. So inside some of the old medieval street levels, inside the old Gosh, it's a, um, what is this, a drain back there or something? There's a defensive firing position. So this is basically the old city, the old medieval city, I think, underground now, where all the street levels above um, that have been added on have built up higher. So that's the first day of Koshitsa. It's been really good fun actually. Nice relaxing day after a bit of a stressful flight. But um, yeah, I mean, we had, you know, some really nice food there. The meat platter, aperitifas. Oh, that was lovely stuff. And then we also had the traditional um, potato dumplings with the sheep's cheese and the bacon lardons. So that was really nice, um, but it was really, really filling. Um, you know, that's the only meal that we've actually had today and I think that's the only one we're going to need to be honest. Um, as for the actual town, that was really good. Looked around the Elizabeth Cathedral and um, that was really cool. Big old place, went up to the top of the little spire and we also had a look at the sort of underground medieval um, sections that were part of the old town of Kushitse. So yeah, it's been really good. I think we're going to crack open a beer now and we might hit the tail later but we're going to have to be up and out tomorrow in reasonably good shape because we're going on this authentic tour showing us a few of the sort of secret um, rough and ready sites that the city has to offer off of the beaten track so looking forward to that but for now guys see you later Stay tuned for part two as we investigate the grittier, hidden side of the city. <laughs>